Good morning, welcome to Gold, the trials and tribs of Olympic gymnast. My name is Bobby Sue Number One, and this is episode number 73. Wow, I am so excited, so excited, I can hardly sleep. Will I go up this morning? Because as you know, if you watched the previous episode, yesterday was like the best, most flexible day ever. Every technique I did for stretching, I did them quick, with no mistakes, and they were all the best ever. Well, today, I had a feeling it was going to be the best. This outfit here, called Ignited, this is when I got my first ever kick over off the floor run. So I'm really emotional about this. I also got my glide kit with this as well. So I'm like, yes, I'm so excited about going down this morning. So I went down there this morning, aiming to go for my octo slicky. And the big news is, did I get it? No. I didn't get it because I was so fatigued by the time I went for it. My body was exhausted. My shoulder is still playing up and it will be maybe a couple more days. It's freaky weird when your shoulder doesn't do what you expect it to do. When you expect your arm to go up, and it kicks out. It's just kind of weird. So, can't wait for Doc to keep working on that and moving all the crap through so it's got full motion again and the muscles back here that are heavily fatigued can actually finally go back to normal and get flushed out. Maybe drinking a lot of water. No more, no more Starbucks for a while. I've got to get a lot of water to help flush out this stuff from the system. So, what did I get done? Well, today was actually the most flexible day I've ever had. I did my three initial kickovers, or bridges, they went great, did my first kickover on the fourth with no inversion machine. My inversion machine helps elongate the spine, which is magical, but I don't have one down there. So I'm going to do three kickovers directly after the third bridge, yes, back is getting better and better all the time, and clean. Then I did my three slinkies, done, three stand-ups, done, although I stepped, but I was really letting more pressure on the back to actually let that get stronger. Um, then I did my three, oh, I did front limber kickover slinkies. So I did two of those, then I did a front limber, front limber kickover double slinky. So I then started doing some other ones and just the body is just responding so well. The flexibility in the lower back just blows me away. I'm so excited about it. And then I came up with a couple of names of some new techniques I'm going to be doing down there. Now, I'm at the level I'm at, I've got some exciting ways of how to expand it even faster, so stay tuned. So what I'm going to be doing down there in the mornings now, now my back is opening up so much, like with the multi-slinkies, where I stand and go slinky, 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 and, and my best ever is six so far, it won't be long before I get my octo slinky. My flexibility the way it is, it's more strength and endurance now, not so much the flexibility. Uh, if I did that first thing in the morning, I'd be pretty close to being able to do it. I'm doing really good. So. You know, next couple of days, next week, I'll have the Octo Slinky. I'm very confident about that. And so, what else am I doing? I've now decided, so since Clinic is telling me to brand everything, I've decided to create some names for some of them, just so it's more fun than Front Limber Kickover Slinky. So, I've now called my, um, when I do a Front Limber, uh, which is a handstand into a bridge, into a stand-up, instead of saying Front Limber, Front Limber Bridge Stand-Up, I'm now going to call my Tumbleweed. Because what happens is the wood sort of looks at it, so like just rolls slowly through. And so I did three tumbleweeds today, where you stand and you do handstand, bridge, stand up, handstand, bridge, stand up, handstand, bridge, stand up. So that's part like my multi-slinkies. Multi-slinkies where you're standing facing one way and going the opposite. Tumbleweeds is when you go the direction you're facing, just do this handstand, stand up, handstand, stand up. So that's exciting. So now I have tumbleweeds. And I have a new one called my metronome. So instead of just going, go all the way back and pushing up on the back bend, now I'm going to help it where you go, you lean forward, put your hands on the feet, then go up, straight back, hands on the ground, push up, so hands on the ground, go back, and just do this motion that which looks sped up like your metronome. And that's going to help just the, the, move, the motion from forward, back, forward, back. And part of it will be speeding up, and then no steps. And that helps with the rolling up of the back. It's a great technique. So that's my metronome. So I'm going to be down. Now I can do back bend standovers with no steps. What's next? What's the next level? So the next level is metronome. So I've got tumbleweeds, metronomes, slinkies. I haven't named the other one yet, but I will. It's a lot more fun for me to go, yep, triple tumbleweed, rather than lots of front limber, kickover, stand up stuff. So. I got to, I started doing my octo slinkies and I was just exhausted. I just couldn't kick over, lack of strength. My shoulder, 
And I thought, well, do I keep training or do I allow myself to come back tomorrow morning, get flexible and go for more records there? And I thought that was the better decision. So, in a moment, I'm going to go and grab ice from downstairs and go and ice my shoulder. Because my ballet instructor, Catherine, says, ice is a gymnast or elite athlete's best friend. And here's why. I didn't really know exactly what it was. This is what she said. She said, because the body's used to being a certain temperature, when you ice it, the body, the body believes you're planning to kill it. And so it sends all this blood there to help make, keep it alive. And by having all the blood there, all the blood permeates all the cells and takes all the swelling, it takes all the toxins, it takes everything out of there into the bloodstream. So you need to drink a lot of water when you ice so that the water can help take it all the way through the bloodstream to get rid of it. So I've been drinking lots of water, lots more to go, and I get to go and get some ice and sit on this shoulder for 10 minutes, have a break for a while, put it on again, because I get to love ice. Ice gets to be a gymnast's best friend, because you're going to see with all the stuff I'm doing, my body needs to be in peak form all the time to train. So check back, see some of the footage I got from Secret Camp, and then I'll back and wrap it all up. quit when it gets tough. Ooh, ouch, stop. It's enough. So step aside to watch success. Every rep I do, I do progress. As I drive it deep into my bones. Over time, this skill I own. Piece by piece, block by block, I perform even better solid like a rock. I love to work, I love to train Success is mine, no need to explain I win it all, and here's a clue While others talk, I just do Gonna drill, drill, drill that skill It's gonna be mine, what a thrill yeah. You think you've got it? Good, do it again Track all the progress, record the detail With focus like this, I can never fail Tenacious in my goal with a burning desire Never gonna stop cause I'm on fire Others watch, they stand in awe While they slipped, I was out the door well, they train are, and the drill. I down there. While they I'm rest. getting better every day, I can see the improvements and I hit that point. I said a little while ago, I was getting to a point where everything was going to start falling. I don't know if you remember that episode, but I said I was getting to a point where suddenly everything would start happening. It was exactly what's happened. My back flexibility is at such a point now. Slinkies every morning. Kickovers, oh, that's just a warm up. Um, the front limber stand ups, yeah, that's all That's all part of it happening. Now it's the small things. Is my leg bending? Have, have I do I take a little step backwards? All that stuff. Am I up? Of course I'm up. My back's at that level now. It's fascinating feeling the, all the motion through the whole body and as I keep training it, it's going to get stronger, faster and better. Yes! So exciting. But that's my dream. That's my goal. Getting so good, I go for gold in London in 2012. As I said, that's my dream. That's my goal. So, thanks for watching episode number 73 of Gold! The Trials and Triumphs of an Olympic Gymnast. My name is Bobby Sue number one and we'll see you on the next episode.